publishing models um, is um, a, a, a two-stage process. We've all seen the uh, the, the dialogue in uh, in Revit and in Constructor and in uh, in Tecla uh, presented through the add-ons in Revit and uh, as a menu item in Constructor through components in in Tecla. Uh, you select a project and then start the uh, the publishing process. To explain what happens after you click OK, so after you've selected a, uh, a project and you said I want to create a new file, uh, a two-stage process starts. First of all, all the geometry in the project is, uh, is captured. So everything that you see in your Revit model uh, or uh, everything that you see and plus everything that you do not see because you switched off layers in ARCHICAD is saved in what we call a geometry pool that has a function that I will explain in a minute. That is the first stage. During that process we save each point of uh, the, the geometry that you have. So for a wall, a very simple wall, that is eight points, eight corners. And then we also save the, the loops, so the lines that connect those points and create surfaces. Those surfaces are used later on for calculating the quantities, for extracting the quantities. That's the, the first stage of the process. The second stage is to store properties. The properties include, for Revit models, the, uh, the family name, the family type, um, as well as the, uh, the mark, so the instance level ID for, uh, for elements in the model. After that is done, you're, you're done publishing. And there's, it's important to mention, there is no saving of quantities in this, in this phase. There's no extraction of quantities. Everything we do is just store the information that exists in the, in the BIM model, in the, in the CAT. The geometry pool uh, holds the collection of unique elements. So everything that is the same from the first published operation to the second published operation will not be republished. I can explain that with this uh, simple, simple diagram. We have a collection of three elements in here. And after the first publish, I, I modified one element. I made that smaller. As a consequence, we do a, a little calculation in there, and if the outcome of that calculation is a different number than for the previous publish operation, then we know that there is a difference for the third element. So what happens during the publish process as well is that there's a comparison between first publish, second publish, and find where those numbers differ. Call it a, a hash code. It's a, it's a unique number that's generated based on the number of properties of the element. That means that a second publish is always faster than the first one unless, of course, you change the entire content of a model, then it's exactly the same amount of time that's needed. With this example, uh, we change the, say, the height of, uh, of this element. Uh, it means that only this element will have to be updated during the publish. Same thing happens uh, when you add a new element. So going from 2 to 3, uh, this element did not change. It's the same size, did not change the dimensions, but we added a new yellow element. So in that case, only the properties, the geometry plus properties uh, of that yellow element are uh, added to the uh, geometry point. 